Always great catching up with my next guest, the number six ranked UFC featherweight, Josh Emmett, back here on the program. Josh, how's it going? It's going well. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Good to catch up with you. Good to get an update. Uh, you were just telling me uh, b- before we got on air here that you were away uh, the last weekend, I think, or last week. Where where did you uh, end up going? Yeah, so uh, two weeks ago, I went to Sitka, Alaska. Um, I went with my boxing coach, Joey, my uh, wrestling coach, Danny Castillo, strength coach, and uh, friend. And we just all went out there. We're, we're trying to make an annual fishing trip. Uh, we oh, went out cool. there two years ago, and we, we taught wrestling at the local high school and then did an MMA seminar, and then in return, they kind of took us out on their charter, kind of showed us the town, and we were going to go last year, but um, of course, COVID, so we, we picked up again uh, a few weeks ago and, and had a blast. We, we brought home 200 pounds of uh, fillets after we had it processed, um, halibut and king salmon, and then uh, I came home for a few days and had to go out to Illinois um, for a, a service. Gotcha. Um, well, that's kind of cool. You got to go to Alaska. I guess uh, Chad Mendez and Clay Guida, that fishing is kind of rubbing off on, on the rest of the team by the sounds of it. Yeah, right. Yeah, Clay came with us the last time. He was supposed to come out this time, but uh, he had something else going on. And uh, yeah, they're showing us the ropes, I guess. That, that's great. Um, and, and in terms of you, um, I, I know you've been recovering from some injuries. Uh, where are you right now in terms of your recovery and all that? Uh, how's the injury uh, stuff going? Yeah, I feel like um, I'm definitely making progress. Um, I've just had a – man, it's been a tough, tough road. Like I think last time we had talked, um, it's the same thing. It's just where they took the graft from uh, for the new ACL. I had issues with that. So my ACL has been strong, but um, the the graft site was not healing after doing the, the stem cells and PRP injections and all these things. Um, I've, I've had a lot of success with that, so I'm just progressing with my physical therapy my my strength and conditioning i'm doing a lot more as far as hitting mitts and uh doing things like that but it's still just too soon to uh you know to know when exactly i'm going to fight but in my mind i will fight this year interesting okay so yeah not not at a point yet where you're going full force i guess just wait you know maybe a little bit longer and then see if you're ready to sort of you know to jump back in there and then you can start start talking about a fight right because you want to make sure you're 100 percent yeah, and, and that's one thing. I think when I when I came back from this last trip uh, with my physical therapist, we were going to start incorporating a lot more. Maybe start getting into some type of grappling, like like just like grappling with the coaches and things like that, and uh, just kind of just continue to progress. And uh, so far, everything's been going well, but it's just been man, it's been a, a long road. No, I'm sure very frustrating as well with everything that, that's going on in the division as well. Are, are you um, so are you doing mainly your rehab in in, um, in California, or are you also going to the PI as well? Because I know I remember when you were on my podcast uh, with Jim West. I know you were in Vegas and you saw Aspen Lad and stuff. So I know uh, you've been doing some stuff out there as well. Yeah, I, originally after the surgery, I stayed in Vegas for two months, and then uh, I came back to Sacramento. Was doing some PT, went out there at like the three month marker, and. Uh, Ever since I've just been back in Sacramento. Yeah, no, it's been interesting. I did mention a lot of stuff going on in your division. First, we just had the Korean Zombie and Dan Ige fight a couple weeks ago. What did you think of that fight? Were you surprised to see Zombie uh, win the way he did and sort of dominate the fight, or were you expecting that to happen? Uh, yeah, no, it was a, it was a, it was a good fight. You know, I, I really wasn't sure what to expect. You know, I, I, I know the last time he fought, you know, that surprised me. You know, in the way that that went against. Ortega. Uh, Dan Ige is a, a tough, tough uh, fighter, so I knew he'd bring the pressure. Um, I, I didn't think Zombie would take him down and control him uh, the way he did, I, so I guess I was surprised in that sense. Interesting. And then, um, obviously, we have, we were supposed to have a main event July 17th, Yair Rodriguez, Max uh, Holloway. Holloway's out with an undisclosed injury. Do you think they'll rebook that fight, or do you think Yair will get another fight in there? Because he hasn't fought since, I think, October of 2019, so I know he's probably itching to get back in there, but obviously, you get a Max Holloway fight, you don't want that to go away either. Yeah, I'm assuming Yair would like to rebook that, you know, and fight one of the legends of the the division, and, you know, he's Max Holloway's all-time great, so I'm, I'm sure... Um, Yair wants that, wants, uh, you know, just to, to test himself, like he said in another interview, and kind of see where he stands. And it's like, if you can beat Max Holloway, there's nothing left but a title shot. So it's like, who, who doesn't want that fight? But um, if, if Max is injured, they may, you know, rebook uh, Yair with another exciting matchup. Um, but, but who knows? You know, we'll just have to kind of wait and see. 
in a way, it's kind of good what's happened with the division in, in, in regards to you because, you know, right right now at the top, we have, you know, the Ultimate Fighter going on with Ortega and Volkanovski. So that's sort of, you know, delayed the title pitcher, so to speak. This big fight with Holloway and Rodriguez, that's being delayed as well. So uh, I know when you get back, you want to get sort of a big fight, but you kind of feel like the timing of all this has kind of worked out in your favor just because everything's sort of logjam right now. Yeah, and that, that's what I've been saying the whole time too. You know, I'm like, at the end of the day, everyone's going to fight each other and they'll kind of weed themselves out and then hopefully I'll come back to a big, uh, a big fight, big opportunity. And just like you said, you know, things have been delayed a little bit. These guys will fight. And then by the time I come back, you know, there's going to be a lot of available uh, fighters for me. So I'm, so I'm hoping to, you know, get matched up with one of them. Is there a preferable opponent for your return? I know we don't even know when that might be. You said you might want to fight by the end of the year. Let's say worst case scenario, you come back December. Actually, I guess worst case scenario would be next year. But if you had to fight in the winter, let's say, just, you know, all things go, is there sort of an ideal opponent in that top five or, you know, top, uh, yeah, top five, I guess, because I don't think you want to fight anyone below you. Yeah, not really. Like I've always said, I just want to fight up, you know, something that's going to get me closer to that shot. And, uh, you know, it's it's so tricky with the UFC. And just like you said, Yair hasn't fought for two years. All these guys haven't fought for you know, quite some time. So it just, it just depends. I'm just going to have to sit back and, and kind of see who's available and, and see who, uh, you know, Sean and Dana offer me. Is, I don't know if you like pay attention to like what's going on on social media, but does it kind of annoy you because you don't know when you're coming back. And I'm sure people have mentioned your name as an opponent, but you're like, I'm not even ready to come back. So you know how fans are. They'll take that and be like, Oh, he doesn't want to fight, but it's like, you're not even ready to come back. Yeah, no, I, I see some of the stuff. It's, it's kind of funny. Anytime there's a featherweight, uh, fight, no matter what, it's always Josh should fight this guy. Even if the guy's ranked last in the division and he gets a win, they're like, hey, match him up with Josh. I'm like, hey, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, no, I, I really don't. I, I don't mind. You know, it's uh, there's nothing I can do. And people that follow the sport and people that are fans uh, of me and the sport, they, they clearly know that, that I'm injured and, uh, you know, not ready or can't take a short notice fight and things like that. So it, it, it doesn't bother me. Uh, I mentioned the Ultimate Fighter. Have you been watching this season, or are you just kind of catching the highlights? Yeah, kind of catching the highlights. I saw the the first episode. We have a, a teammate, uh, Vince Murdoch's on the show. Oh, of course, yeah. And, and Ricky, uh, he's on the show as well. Um, so I was kind of tuning in, but then, like I said, I've been gone the last few weeks, so I didn't really get a, to watch those last uh, episodes. I'll have to catch up. Yeah, no, I got on PVR as well. I haven't been catching up because it's, it's like a Tuesday night. So it's tough for me to like, I don't know, catch up and watch fights. I'm already watching yeah. fights on the weekend. So it's kind of like, you know, I have it ready to go. I, I kind of feel the same way as well. Um, and then I know at Alpha Male right now, there's a lot sort of going on, a lot of fights coming up. I know like Max Griffin, for example, is going to be fighting Carlos Condit. So are you like, I, I'm assuming you're in the gym, but you probably just can't do much training. Are you just at least in the gym kind of for moral support? Yeah, that's one thing. Like I, I go in the gym quite a bit. Um, I, I don't, I don't watch practices too much. You know, I've always been that way just because when I'm injured, you know, I'll sit there and watch practice. And then the next thing you know, it like, I'm like, Oh, I'm, I'm, you know, taking it easy and going light and then I'm going live. So it's like, I, I don't do that, but I, I do go in the gym and I'm, I'm lifting several times a week. I'm, I'm hitting mitts with my coach. I'm, I'm doing some light sparring and, uh, and then physical therapy is, um, at a different location, uh, that I do like four or five times a week. Um, so yeah, I, I do see some of the, some of the guys and, uh, people on the team and no, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, informed with, you know, who has fights coming up and, uh, I'm excited for them. Uh, it's kind of a new member of your team. Uh, I know he's got a fight coming up in, in a little bit is, uh, Macy Barber. Have you had a chance to speak to her or seen her train at the gym at all? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, I've seen her. Uh, she came in, I want to say like a month or more ago and, uh, yeah, we, we talked and had some, some knee stories and I was just kind of, you know, asking her questions and she, she was kind of telling me just a little things that she dealt with and experienced through her ACL recovery. It's true. Yeah. Uh, you both had a similar injury. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she had the, the patellar graft. So, um, yeah, we, we just kind of chatted about that. I, I've seen her in there quite a bit and on Saturdays during sparring and, um, yeah, she seems like she's, she's fitting in really well and she's, you know, doing really well. So it's like a lot of the coaches have taken her under their wings and, uh, you know, I, I think she's going to be able to show what she's learned and, um, yeah, implement a lot of things in her next fight. 
um, you know, don't mean to be kind of grim here, but, you know, throughout this entire process with your injury and kind of, you know, being one of the older guys in the division, has, has it kind of crossed your mind that, you know, maybe this injury could be, you know, really derailing your career a little bit? Or have you been able to just sort of, you know, see the light at the end of the tunnel, knowing that eventually the thing, this thing is going to come to a conclusion here? Because like you mentioned, there were a few setbacks uh, in the recovery. Yeah, no, I, no, I thought about that, you know, like from the get go, I was, I, I wanted to come back, um, really fast. And I was like, I'm going to, you know, come back and fight within a year. But then, you know, I had all those setbacks and stuff like that. So it, yeah, you, you, you kind of think that way sometimes, but then I just got to remind myself, like, I, I do feel the best I've ever felt, even though like my age is getting up there. Um, man, I, I got into the sport so long ago, or I mean, I, I got into the sport, um, a lot later than most. And I, I haven't taken damage in any fights besides one fight, you know, and then other than like me injuring myself, breaking my hand for hitting people like that freak knee accident that I had with the Burgos fight. So um, I, I have everything dialed in too with, you know, my, my dietitians and nutritionists and doctors and team and coaches and everything. So I, I feel like I do have years ahead of me and this is just, you know, it, it it's just a minor setback and you know throughout my career too i've had these like year layoffs and things like that and come back even stronger so um yeah this is just another <laughs> another one of those before we go uh any more traveling plans this summer you talked about the alaska trip i know you and your wife like going traveling a lot any anything on the horizon i know we're still in a pandemic technically but anything yeah. uh, planned no not really I've, I, I've really just been focusing on you know recovery and physical therapy and then i i had that uh i had a you know, a funeral I had to go to. And then the Alaska trip was going to be around that same time. So I told the guys like I can go before or after and they scheduled it, you know, the week before. So that's the only reason why I was able to do that. So I'm really, uh, I don't plan on traveling anymore until, uh, you know, I get better, get a big win and then we'll, we'll head somewhere. I was going to say your next fishing trip, you guys should look at Canada. There's a lot of good fishing up here, you know, <laughs> everywhere uh, here in British Columbia, where I live. And then in Ontario, is that something uh, you guys have talked about? Cause I know Alaska is kind of similar to Canada in some ways. Yeah, just because we have the connections, it's actually a guy um, at our gym. He's a, a friend and a member. He he was you know born and raised in Sitka, so he has a lot of connections with people that are. Oh, big, I see. It was more, you know, it was more of that thing. So, okay, gotcha. So he kind of he set up the entire thing, and it's like I'm not I'm not really a big fisherman. I I enjoy it. I like getting the meat, you know. But this is still fairly new to me. Um, but yeah, no, I, I I've been up to Vancouver, and um, yeah, I loved it up there. So I, I would go visit the place, and hey, maybe I'll. Uh, I'll throw a, a throw line, line out there, see, see what you there. can catch. Yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. uh, what, what else are you up to? I mean, obviously, recovery is the focus right now. Are you getting in any TV time, any video games, anything else? What, what are you up to? Not, not really. You know, um, yeah, I've really just been doing that, and it's like, uh, I don't know, not, not really. Just kind of just hanging out with my my wife and dog and and mom and friends. That's kind of like any, anytime I have any spare time, it's like I, I always try to get together with our friends and just you know eat and. Uh, just kind of visit, but nothing, uh, nothing too exciting over here. <laughs> I, I guess no bike riding either. Cause I know Vince is really big into that. He gets Cody Garbrandt and everyone else to, to go bike riding, but I guess you can't with your knee, right? Or, or can you at this point? Yeah, that's, that's one thing I'm actually going to start doing because I, I, I've been cycling and we have so many trails here in Sacramento and I've, I've been doing that for years and years, but it's as far as, uh, the, you know, the last year I haven't, but my, my PT wants me to start, start getting into that again. There so, you go. Talk to Vince. He's always, I always see him posting stuff on, on social media, so I know he's uh, really big into it as well. I, I know they're all about it. I don't see myself doing 50, 100-mile rides. No, and not I getting the whole get-up and everything too either, right? You got you to be uh, – yeah, it seems like you're either all into it or you're not into it at all, right? So Yeah, like I, I like doing it just as a, like an extra workout, you know, just going like 15 miles around the lake and, and calling it a day, you know, maybe once or twice a week. But those guys get after it. They, they do it like every day. I'm, like that's intense. It's crazy. Uh, Josh, thanks so much for doing this, man. Uh, hopefully, next time we do an interview, it'll be uh, talking about a, a fight and you're all good to go. But in the meantime, anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media you want to plug, I'll give you the last word. Uh, not really. Yeah, everyone, you know, they can go to Josh Emmett UFC at um, Twitter, um, Instagram, Facebook. Um, that's where all my social media is. And everyone that I, I support, all my sponsors are on joshemmett.com, so they can check that out if they want. 